Hey guys, System Air, and this is Techopolis. Hope everyone is well, having a out of the amazing day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, I did a bit of building. I did a bit of building. I spent a couple hours here uh, making this pathway of spruce. Have some here in case large planks. Made these here. These are slopes from Block Crafty. Whole bunch of uh, concrete as well. Concrete I actually made it really easy with this here. So I use the fluid encapsulator from Thermal. Then you just put the powder in this side and make sure there's water in it. And then you get yourself uh, easy made concrete, which is uh, really awesome. And I really is the way to do it. And uh, these are the Zag version, I guess, of the concrete, which is not too bad. And just cool little looking little area. I'm actually quite happy with it. As well as I moved all my drawers as well, which is pretty awesome. So if we go ahead and head up here real quick. You will see down here, there you go. All the drawers and kind of in a cube configuration, which is the way I usually like to do it. Just in case I need to do any cabling on the drawers, I can kind of do it back here and hide everything, which is kind of nice. And uh, everything's just looking really clean. Oh, also these here. These are weird little blocks. What are these ones here? These ones were called steel sheet metal uh, slices. <laughs> and basically they work like snow, but I used it just as the roof. It's just one real thin la layer. So pretty cool there as well. And uh, made it so it went really far. Also, these here are these block crafty blocks. Where's the safe spot to do this where it won't drop in the void? I dropped a couple in the void. This might drop in the void. Nope, didn't. There you go. You kind of put them down just like so. Then you just kind of use the block on it. And then it takes that shape. So that is what I wanted the bamboo for so I can make those things. So that is cool as well. And our base is just, uh, it's just looking good. It's just, look at that. It's uh, pretty clean. It's actually pretty awesome. Quite happy with it. Turned out quite well. Uh, other than that, I went ahead, I guess, and uh, made a whole bunch of Techium, I guess. If we go to here, go to Techium. I have 64 of each tier of Techium, which is fantastic, which uh, beats were pretty much all caught up, all RAM. So while I was building, I just let that do its thing. And then I also went ahead and made this here, Atomic Disassembler. Really cool tool, just for a mechanism. Super fast, like this thing, like uh, right there. No, actually, I don't have it on the fast speed right now. You kind of uh, scroll wheel with it, you can change the settings. But if you set the fast here, it actually it's near like instant break, right? Yeah, it's it pretty quick uh, on everything except for like obsidian, right? So I have a bunch of obsidian down here actually. Also decorated this floor too, just so you know, super easy. But we have obsidian right here. There you go, break that. Doesn't take too long. Pretty quick, not insanely fast, but really good. I did the I guess the start of the multi block too for the Nether controller. We just need to add in some structural glass and the entangle borders, and then we'll be able to. Uh, head to the nether. So let's go ahead and actually do that first, I guess, and jump into it here. So let's go to entangles. Uh, no, entangles. Didn't make a video uh, yesterday either, actually, because uh, my internet was like being intermittent, was going in and out. I wasn't dealing with it. Would have taken me like 12 hours to upload something. So I said, you know, I'll just take a day off. So that's the thing. Let's go ahead and grab some structural. There you go. Structural, structural glass is just from mechanism. Nothing too special there, but it is needed for the multi block. And, uh, I think this was enough. So anyway, let's go ahead and head in here. I know these go in the corner, so I'm just gonna do that. Then we'll kind of check the preview there. But they kind of go like this here, I believe. And these go up here. There you go. Up here. <laughs> up there. And up there. I should I'm leaving my uh, jetpack on too right now. Oh, also another thing too. Someone told me this in between episodes too. We can put our uh, backpack in a curio slot, and then you're able to wear your jetpack and your backpack. Also, you can hide it too, so you don't see it while you're wearing it. Otherwise, it does a weird overlap thing. But anyway, that is good there. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this. Let's go ahead and get our structured glass down. We'll do the floor first, but pretty sure you just encase this entire thing with structural glass. Then we got to put one of those cores in, and then it's supposed to do a thing. I don't know what that thing is, so we'll kind of figure that out. I'll do that. Let's actually look at the preview here. Sweet. Yeah, there's no entrance or anything. It's literally just solid walls everywhere. And then we have to put the core in there, but we'll have to do it while we're in here. So it's a little odd, but I guess we'll figure that out in a second. See exactly what's happening and what's going on. Go, get rid of you. We'll do the first two later layers, then we'll go ahead and I guess wand the rest, because uh, that should work out pretty well. There you go. And I have a wand, right? I went ahead and made one. Sweet, sweet. And then just wand you, 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 and you. There you go. Actually, is that correct? Oh, I, I made a mistake. Go ahead and grab some obsidian here. Sweet. Get you out of there. And you out of there. And then we'd want you here. And you here. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got a real fast tool here. Doesn't look like I made any other mistakes, so we're good. 
Go ahead and head up. And then I guess we're going to drop through the top and uh, put our core in there and see what happens. Already have a uh, waystone down, so we have to teleport back. We should be able to. Hopefully it doesn't take more than seven levels. I don't know how much, how, how many levels it's going to take uh, to teleport back and forth, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, let's go. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and break you. Go ahead and close this off. And this should effectively be it, right? So we'll go to preview once more. You can see the items too. That's how much I how I knew how many structural glass we did too. So yeah, I did uh, 126. So that's what that worked out to there. I guess I made one recipe too many. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw this in here. Oh, it's going to make an item. I thought we were going to get instantly teleported. Okay, so we got an item here. Let's go ahead and grab that puppy. And that finishes off that quest. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. And maybe we just use this item and teleport, right? Yeah, that was, uh, I guess, except for these two items, the last of that quest line here. I guess we can leave, though. Let's do that. I guess we can make more of these, too, if we need to. Um, Maybe I will, because then I don't have to use experience. I don't have much experience right now. I did die once and lose a bunch of my experience, but uh, because I AFK'd and got killed by, uh, you know, fly guys. But anyway, but um, yeah. Oh, maybe it, it's multiple use. I guess we'll find out in a second. But in here, I have waystones, right? Uh, I want to make sure my free runners are on. They're on. There you go. And jetpack. What is it set to right now? Let's make sure it's on. Hover. That looks good. I guess we'll try this out. Oh, I moved that portal too. I would have been totally stuck there. One thing you want to do before you actually head there, let's take a waystone for sure. Throw it down. Because it actually even says this in the book. You can't get back unless you have a waystone. So we'll just call this home. There you go. Sweet. And I think I broke that when I was uh, decorating my base, right? Anyway, that's good there. And uh, let's try this thing out. And... Oh! It's regular, normal, nether. Huh. Okay. I wasn't really expecting... I was expecting void nether. <laughs> so apparently it's regular nether. Actually, I already see an ore down there, too. So that is cool. And yeah, we're in regular nether. And we already see, I think of that, that looks like a uh, cyanite. Maybe we'll go down there and check that real quick. See how that works. I think we need some of these saplings I saw somewhere too. I can't remember. We'll have to go ahead and grab some of them. Oh yeah, we need shroom lights. And I think there's a multi-block to grow these things. So let's make sure we grab one of them. There you go. We should be good there. Make sure we have that. Nether cobalt. And I really doubt we can break this, right? Yeah, we can't. It didn't drop at all. Let me do one more to make sure. Maybe it just went too fast. Nope. <laughs> so we're going to end up having to use a miner here. That's going to be the idea. And what's this one here? This one is Agent Debris. And I think I see another one over there. Not too bad. We're also going to have to grab a whole bunch of glowstone. If we get a whole bunch of glowstone, uh, we can set up a 5x5 with the miner. Actually start producing that as well. Because I believe I saw we needed Lumium somewhere. And then, yeah, once we have that, we'll be looking pretty good. So, yeah, nothing too special here. I do see these quark pillars that you always see with quark, but looks like a pretty standard nether, actually. Nothing too special. Oh, you see that over there, too? That's actually a blaze spawner. That's one of these uh, quark blaze spawners. So we had, I know we end up needing blaze. Kind of show you the recipe here in a couple minutes, but, um, yeah, we definitely need to get blazes to be able to produce blazing blood. So we smelt them down, we'll be able to uh, do that pretty easily. So maybe we'll use this one. Oh, I'd rather not get lit on fire though. That uh, block isn't important to me. That's cool. But yeah, we'll be able to, I guess, use this as our spawner. You guys are irritating though. I wish I could turn that thing off easily. Anyway, that is cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat all around. I think I saw a little pier over here. Yeah, I did too. When we were first coming over here, I think I saw this, right? Yeah, we already got a fortress over here. Don't know if we need this now that I've already seen everything. Because <laughs> I think those are the main ores, right? But we'll come over here and check this real quick. There might be another blaze spawn over here, I suppose. And I think there's like eyes we can find inside the fortresses as well. Oh, it says in chest, I guess, in the... Um, inside a chest. I, I think it's to get into the... To get to the, uh, the, the end, right? Oh, I think I saw I needed this too. So let's actually grab you. This thing's actually really powerful, too. So, yeah, it one-shots most things, so that is cool. Anyway, let's grab you. The only problem with our auto-eat, too, 
is uh it's not particularly fast you know what i mean it has to wait till our saturation goes down which is uh kind of nasty but i want to check this uh chest here nothing at all total junker anyway <laughs> go ahead and head back up see if there's actually another spawner here probably not run through this too much i really want to go ahead and probably set up a crafting recipe for the five miners um five miners level five miners is what i'm trying to say and then seeing if we can actually start getting those ores and maybe teleporting them back to uh the overworld not seeing any spawners though at all unless there's one down here we need a bunch of glowstone though we need uh five by five by five of the blocks which is gonna work out to what probably like 500 i guess maybe over 500 probably should have turned on my magnet to do that too but it's not like we're gonna run out once we have everything we need yeah, we got a blaze spawner right here as well. And okay, I grabbed us a bunch of glowstone so we get that one kind of set up really quick. So right here we have a whole bunch of that. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and drop that stuff off. Then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some glowstone. Then we'll go ahead and make our first miner and actually get that one set up, I guess. Then we'll come back uh, to the nether and work on over there as well. Drop that off, drop that off. Don't need you. Uh, probably don't need you or you either. And that should be everything we need. Let's go ahead and actually set up the recipe here. We're going to set up a uh, miner, and then uh, we want the miner tier 5. It's going to be our last miner too, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we'll just need to find a spot for it. There you go. And I think we only need four of these right now, if I count it right. Let's go ahead and make four. That is good. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Actually, it shouldn't at all. Let's go ahead and grab you. And then make sure we have everything. We will need a drawer. Let's do that. This. Uh, we'll need some of them one of these and uh anything else that we need from this system here uh i don't think i have any logistical left i think i used it all so i should go to uh logistical plus they're all green down there anyway so i might as well use green ones let's go ahead and do that that's good and we'll get this set up real quick then maybe go ahead and head over to the nether or do our tree too because we got to do the shroom lights like uh shroom lights like i said i want to get everything set up so we just get the nether techium because then we can buy the ores and set it up over here but uh, until that happens uh, we can't, right? Anyway, let's uh, use our hover. Hover's still on. Then this like this. Then we'll just go ahead bring this across because this is how I set up the 5x5s, five right? Then we'll just go ahead and hopefully wand that too. Do I not have a wand? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have wireless down. Oh, the wand's right here. I was going to say, wireless does not come this far down in my base, right? There you go. Is that right? Yeah. So much easier to do this with hover now too. So that should be our 5x5 five five right there, right? No, that's a... I don't know what that is. Oh, I totally derped that, too. I guess it doesn't matter too much. But these are all useless. <laughs> I'm going to have to get these all out of here. I guess I can get some of the glowstone back. But I totally wasted that. Don't don't be me. Don't waste materials. I guess it doesn't matter, because after this, we're creating infinite of those materials. But they, either way, we'll get it done here. All the wooden stuff is going to change down here, too. I'm going to build... Uh, I guess make these look a little different, I think. Just don't know how it's going to be yet, but either way, we'll change it. There you go. It'll be the same shape. I'm not changing the shape again. Anyway, go ahead and grab that. Find the center block. And does it work? It does work. So it's going to produce, which is uh, what we want. Guess I'll go ahead and grab that. I we'll also want a key. Let's do you here. Let's uh, put you in your in our offhand for once. Go ahead and uh, pump that down. And uh, that should be good. Then the last thing, I guess, is... Uh, throw the i guess some glowstone in here just so it's already filtered and then i guess uh some basic logistical and then we just need to hook that up to the system to pull it in automatically why are you not switching automatically sometimes it's derpy it just decides you know what i'm not gonna work there you go so that should be infinite uh glowstone i'll have to throw some techium in there but uh, that's fine and i think i'm still just working with elites right now i don't know how fast i need this one but i guess it doesn't matter too much I have them pulling off the side. How do I do it on this one here? Oh, I pulled it out one more. Okay, let's go ahead. Grab uh, one of those, one of those. So it'd be just this, right? And once I hook this up, it should just automatically start being pulled out either way, right? There you go. Yeah, so much easier to do this with uh, hover. <laughs> I have to say, I like this. Anyway, let's do that. And that, and there you go. And that should start being brought in the system, right? There you go. Completely empty, completely automated, and we don't have to worry about that one now. I guess I didn't bring uh, any of the actual uh, leaves and stuff from the warp fungus either, so I can't really set up the tree right now. I guess I can grow them, but I might as well just head over there 
uh, set up the new ores, and then we'll kind of come back and uh, do that last, I guess. But I think after that, it'll be pretty much the last component we need to actually make. I don't think this could be a long tier. Um, I guess the longest part will be setting up the Blazing Blood. So we're going to get all our ores first and all this stuff. Then we'll go ahead and work on Blazing Blood, I think is the idea. So I went ahead and put the Glowstone into a drawer, just so it doesn't get caught in our ender chest, because otherwise it gets stuck there the way our system works. We're pulling everything into the controller, right? So I have that set up here, and I went ahead and threw a uh, storage upgrade, so time 16. So buffer a massive map. Still need to throw a Techium in there, but I'll worry about that in a bit. So we have that, we have that, we have an ender chest. Those are mechanicals. What did I do with my logisticals? I don't, I don't know what I did with them. Oh, there they are. Go ahead and grab them. And uh, we're going to head over to Nether and see if we can actually set up uh, the ones for the ores, right? So we'll try that out. And I think this is actually all we need. This should be good here. And hopefully FTB chunk loading works in this pack. Because it seems like it's really hit or miss depending on the pack. But we'll see either way. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over. Also, it takes three levels to go back and forth too. So three levels, so it's not too bad. After this, I'll have one more trip. Then I'll have to get some experience, so... Have to make sure I grab some experience before I head back again. Uh, that's quite a hat on that magma slime. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and uh, grab one of these miners here. Now, I don't know how these work in the world. Like, this is a world version, right? So I'm going to guess if I put it here, maybe it works. <laughs> here you go. See, I don't know if it needs a 3x3 three three here or if it's counting all the blocks. You see how this is kind of like odd shaped, right? But it looks like it's working there. That's good. And we got our first uh, debris clump. Oh, I was going to say, you're going to give me a quest there? Yeah, that's good. So yeah, we have this stuff now. And it's actually working perfectly, so that's fine. And then, I guess we'll just pull this... Uh, we have a... Uh, I think I won't even use a buffer chest on this stuff. I'll buffer it on the other side. I was using drawers on the other side, I guess, early on, because I couldn't keep up with it. But uh, I don't think that matters right now. So what I'll do instead is just, uh, I guess, pull straight out of it and straight into this chest. Then I'll have to go and filter it, right? So that isn't too big a deal. Uh, you and you. There you go. There you go. It's going to get stuck in there right now, but that's fine. And there's that magma. I do see that right there. I'm just trying to figure out. That is where the blaze spawner is. We've got a gas up there. We have that weird thing that's making the world look like it's flying up constantly, which is a little strange. Uh, what else do we got around here? I need this stuff, so let's head over here. Actually, I think I saw the other stuff over here somewhere. We also have cobalt right here, actually. Maybe we gotta just dig this out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it doesn't even look like there's a 3x3 three three here. I guess this would be a good test to see if it actually works. Will it work here? Let's go ahead and uh, try it real quick. No, it looks like it does need a 3x3. Three three. So that's the thing. Also, this tool breaks these really slow. I don't know why. So I have my other pick here. There you go. Kind of see what's going on and see if we can find a spot here with an actual good kind of section here for us to do us uh, do this, I guess. So it looks like it's right here as well. No three by three there as well. I actually forgot one more thing too. I actually forgot to chunk load this. So to do that, all you're gonna do is go up to here, go to FTB chunks, left click, and that's the first one. That just protects it so it makes like things can't explode there. Then shift and left click, and that should force load it. And I guess we'll see if this works. We'll see if we go to the world. If this actually keeps reducing. But I saw that there was another one over here that we could set up. And uh, get that one done. So that's cool. This is going to be... What is it? Like ruby crystal ores? I don't know what it is. We'll see in a second. It was a weird one either way. Also, I had a gas attack me. He was a jerk. But now he doesn't live anymore. And crystal ore. Let's go ahead and grab that. See if we find a 3x3 three three around here. So that's fail. <laughs> so it looks like... Uh, the ones on the lava, you have to kind of guess, you know what I mean? See if it uh, works in the spots. Yeah, it doesn't work here either. Maybe we'll try the next one over. Maybe it's more solid than this one. Yo, oh, I see a big uh, cobalt one over there too, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. You calm down, buddy. You just calm down. Anyway. Oh, there you go. You gonna work? So I guess we're gonna have to do a little exploring because I'm not getting much luck here. Also, I'm not a fan of step assist. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Drives me bonkers. Oh, this might be a good one here, actually. This one seems uh, more shapely. <laughs> Go to the center of it and uh, see if this one works. Oh, there we go. This one works. So, yeah, you're going to have to find one that works, I guess. So, I guess that's the thing. Anyway, let's go ahead. 
No, I don't. What is that? Claim chunks. There we go. This one here. Then shift left quick. There you go. Then I should be able to just pull that into a chest as well. And that'll be two of them. Then I guess I just need to find one for cobalt. And uh, we are pretty much done in that regards, right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's going to come in this form here. We don't even have to process this one, I don't think, right? Or maybe we do. Nope. No, it's just going to be for these end crystal agates. So that is not too bad. I guess we can go ahead and check this one real quick. And if so, we're actually done all these. This one looks uh, promising. <laughs> I kind of look by the shape of them. Oh, that one's a check mark too. There you go. Are we actually not on a check ch um, chunk boundary though? Because that's the only other thing I have to worry about, right? No, we're good. Good and good. Force loaded. And then I guess I'll just throw you here and this here. And in time, I guess I guess that doesn't even matter. I was thinking we'd have to buy the ores, but I don't think we'll need this stuff super fast, first off. And also, uh, I should grab these two. Just do that and that. There you go. But, um, yeah, we, we unless we need this faster, we don't need to set up an overworld is what I'm trying to convey. But uh, we may need it faster, I guess. I guess I'm assuming things. But it seems like we only have two ingots left, so I don't know how much more we actually need. This might be getting to the end of this stuff, but either way. I guess I should go ahead and grab everything we need for the trees. Then we'll go ahead and uh, set up the tree. Then we'll set up uh, whatever left we need. I guess we still need to do the... Um, what you call it there, the blaze waters. So we're gonna get the uh, warp tree set up. So it's actually set up over here, already done, and it's actually producing. Oh, I do need to throw a drawer here. I kind of forgot about a drawer. Let's go ahead and grab a drawer real quick. Then we need to go make another smeltery controller. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of how we do the whole uh, getting the blazing blood thing, right? So that's the thing. I need a key in our offhand again, I guess. Pop you here. And I'm not sure how many, oh, did I just unlock that? Please lock that. Lock you, there you go. I guess that filters it either way. Oh, no, 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 no. There's still a piece of, uh, whatchamacallit there, the uh, spruce. <laughs> Guess there's three different items? No, four different items. Either way, that works, and that, that'll get us our shroom lights. I'll definitely need some upgrades for that, too, actually. So probably I should do that right away. Go ahead and grab um, one of these ones here. These ones here only hold, like, 512 per slot, right? So need to get that up right away. Then we need another smelter controller. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. And probably start working on the blazes, right? So over here I have faucet. Already went ahead to that. I had to turn this off too because this thing automatically makes seared bricks, right? Anyway, let's do that there. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm casting that off on that. Let's turn you off right now. Throw those three in there. I think it's three, right? I, I guess we're going to find out. Let's go to uh, seared. <laughs> Where is that at? Where is the uh, smeltery? We could probably just go smeltery, right? This one right here. Is it three or four? It's probably going to be four, isn't it? Dagnabbit. Let's go ahead and grab one more copper. And then we'll head to the nether. It's a little annoying going to nether. You have to, I guess I have to, well, it's annoying for me because I don't have much experience. I actually have to kind of pay attention to how much experience I have. <laughs> I haven't seen if there's any other uh, teleporting uh, options, though. Anyway, let's cast that off in there. And then in here, I already have a whole bunch of seared bricks, so we should have everything we need there. I need to get the initial kind of setup, I guess, to be able to start it anyway so it doesn't matter too much so is that actually done there you go got our smelter controller cool and i guess the main thing i guess for building this is going to be making it so we don't get shot constantly oh no i totally derped i have no experience <laughs> i'm gonna have to go and walk over here come back get uh another like six levels this is what i keep having to do i keep going over here uh killing the uh hoglins and stuff right and the um the, um, whatchamacallit, I don't have my jetpack on me right now, I was charging it. <laughs> so yeah, let me go get some experience, then we'll come back. Then we need to seal off this thing. My plan is to put cobblestone out from like a 5x5 five five or 7x7 seven seven out from the uh, blaze spawner, so I can actually work on it, so I don't have uh, them spawning on me the entire time. Okay, I think I have the smeltery pretty much done, so I'm gonna go and show you what I did here once everything loads in. There you go. You notice here there's a big giant kind of smeltery over here sitting on top of a pillar of obsidian. I still need to do like an AFK room, but uh, that's fine. Won't worry about that right now. Uh, can you go away? Please, can you go away? There you go. Uh, we're going to need here, you'll notice here, this is what's going on. Um, we're basically getting blazing blood. Inside, I guess we go ahead and head up here. Do this, there you go. I dropped a seer there, it doesn't matter. But the blaze spawner is right there, so they just spawn in. 
they fall down, they get smelted, as long as they're not angry at me, which I just made them angry. Did I drop a cobblestone in there, or did I actually pick that up? No, it looks like I picked it up. Also, that chest had one of those eyes. We need these eyes later on to be able to get to the um, end. So, yeah, definitely got one of them, but I think we can buy them all with Techium anyway. Also, where I had the cobblestone there, I was able to just use the exchanger on that, exchange all the seared brick. Then I just had to break out the corners, although you don't have to remove the corners. Anyway, what I was doing here anyway, all this aside, let's grab an ender chest, right? Let's do... I don't want to do this. Let's do this here. Let's break you. Go ahead and grab ourselves a basic logistical and a seared drain. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks good. Uh, that is a chest. Let's not have that there. Hopefully I got that too, right? Oh, is that inside? Oh no. Did I just drop one of those? I guess I only needed one of those anyway. <laughs> or is that in my backpack right now? Nope. I just dropped that in the void. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this closed up before they get out. Let's put a chute here. Go ahead and put the ender tank here, right? Then we'll go ahead and grab a basic logistical. There you go. Do this here. Awesome. And now we'll get all that free essence, right? Wait. Oh, is it pulling out? Did I have a bunch of cobblestone in there too? Oh, I have so much stuff in here. <laughs> anyway, we'll get it all out. Once it pulls out all the cobblestone, I think it's going to pull the uh, elite mob essence as well, right? We'll kind of see how that goes, but I think that'll work as long as it pulls it out. I mean, it's a great way of getting the elite mob essence really easily as well. Because that means even more blaze rods. Anyway, oh my goodness, there's so much of this stuff. Oh, you can just pull it out by double clicking. Oh, that's way easier. It's good. Pull you out. I just want to make sure it's pulling the essence, right? There we go. It's pulling the essence, which is fantastic. Uh, blaze rods are not filtered. Maybe it's going to drop blaze rods sometimes as well. If that's going to happen too, I'm fine with that. That's freebies, but uh, either way... And then the last thing we need to do, I guess, is I uh, have these two ender tanks, right? And now we have this blazing blood because the guys are being smelted down. We'll just do that. Go ahead and grab a seared drain. And this time we will not mix it with lava because uh, that's what I did the first time. Go ahead and pop you here. And we got a mechanical pipe right here, right? So I'll just go ahead and just pull that out of right here. There you go. So now I'll be able to move that around wherever I need it. And that should effectively work. That's basically what you want to do here. I want to uh, look up the vanilla kind of rules on uh, blaze spawners too. And it looks like it's uh, four out each way, kind of like in a flat platform from the spawner. And they say one above and one below, but you never know when you get into modded. So I kind of overdid it because uh, you never know, right? Either way, this is working. No one, none have gotten out so far. And uh, we are getting our blazing blood. I guess on the other side, I could probably just get uh, refined storage with another external storage on it. Set the fluids for that one as well. Then we can move that around as needed. That's cool. Oh, no. Where are you at? Do not do not destroy my work. <laughs> and I'm going to have to spawn. Well, I was going to say I was going to have to spawn over here. I'm going to have to AFK over here too. So I'm going to need a little safe room here as well. So I guess that's a thing. But um, definitely don't want to be uh, hit by jerk uh, gas while we're over here. So... Definitely need a safe room of some type. Uh, do I have enough bricks? I'll have to come back with more bricks, right? So now that we have our blaze of blood here, let's go ahead and actually get it hooked up into the actual refined storage system, just so we can move around. Where we go ahead and finally set up the recipe for the nether tachyum igot, which will be probably tomorrow. I don't see anything that's going to stop us at all. So anyway, let's go ahead and pump that there. Go ahead and set the priority to one. Then that should be good, right? Except for we need to have fluids, right? So now I can see, I guess, uh, those liquids in the system. And uh, that should work out pretty well. How much blazing do we actually need per get? It's only 100 millipockets, so we should be fine in that regards. But I guess we'll have to end up uh, automating netherite. We already have this kind of coming in. How fast is the shroom coming in? Let's go to shroom here. 76. That one's actually going to be a major holdback unless I do a bunch of these. I don't know another option to make these come in fast. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about this one. This one's going to be super slow because I did put an upgrade in it, right? Oh, I didn't. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Go ahead and grab, um, not Techium, uh, not Netherite, I mean. It is Techium. <laughs> grab uh, one of these. There you go. Sweet. And uh, pop that in there. That'll speed it up a little bit, but at the same time, I don't think that's going to fix the problem. <laughs> I don't know the shroom lights. Like, what's the uh, percent chance on these? 10%? Are you serious? 
And that's the only way to get it. So we may end up needing several of these, I guess is a possibility. We only need eight per, but still, that's gonna take time, right? So in time, we'll get that. Madeline will end up having to do cobalt and netherite. So we'll have to do netherite processing. And this is a uh, Tinker's, uh, which is there. Tinker's uh, construct, um, it gets specific, right? Specific to the mod. And it should be pretty easy to automate, actually. Probably do that the same as the other ones, right? Probably just do it here. Oh, this might actually need its own Tinker's. Yeah, we might do a little micro uh, Tinker's for Hepatizian and didn't just buffer like 2,000 or something, but that should work out. The only thing I'm not sure about, actually, actually with all of our kind of automations moving forward, is going to be the um, automation on the shroom lights. Like, the only thing I could do is scale up, I guess. That is our only option. That's the first time I ran into an issue like that. But anyway, that is cool. And uh, I think I might go ahead and actually end this one here. I think we made pretty good progress today. And tomorrow, we'll get into another Techium. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it? Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.